Hey everyone, I wanna welcome you to this video today. I'm super excited about the app that I'm gonna to release today. This is an interlinking assistant. So what it does is it will pull your posts from WordPress, use AI to generate words that might link between two posts and then interlinks them for us. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use that. So let's go ahead and get started. What you need to do to get started is you're going to open up the app. If you don't have the app yet, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. It'll take you to Gumroad, which is also right here. Gumroad will look like this. The price that is currently here is not gonna be there forever. It's going to slowly increase as I release new updates, things like that. Eventually it may go to monthly, but for now it's a lifetime deal. So jump on it while you can. But throughout these instructions, you can see where you can get the download for this app. You can click this, it'll take you to my blog, which will take you. When you click the link to go to my site, you'll see a page that looks something like this. You're gonna look for one of these two link, either for Windows or for Macs. So if you have a Mac, click this one. If you have Windows, click this one. I'm gonna put this video in here soon and then along with some descriptions below. So you can expect to see something like this. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel here. It's important that you know that you need an OpenAI API key that will charge you for each interlinking keyword that you generate. So $96 for the app, and then all the AI keywords are going to be using OpenAI's API key. So that would be separate costs, but I don't get any of those costs. Two other things that are important to note, at this time I am offering a refund if you don't like the product within the first 14 days, but that can only be done within the app. That's important, so please don't email me asking for it. It can only be done within the app and you also need to make sure that you're in a country that allows access to the Amazon Web Services. I don't know which countries prohibit that access, but that's gonna be important. So once you do have that, you're gonna get a license key. You're gonna purchase it. You'll get emailed the license key. You need to get the email that you used to purchase the app along with the license key. And you're gonna enter that in here, and you're gonna hit submit. I'm gonna pause this video, enter in my information, and then come back. Awesome, once you put that in, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this to just say you successfully authorized the machine. So then you're gonna probably see a quick start video right here whenever this actually does get released. But for now, you go ahead and click started. And this is where you can create your first profile. A profile will allow you to use a singular website. You can duplicate it. I'll show you a little bit more about that later. But for now, you need to create a profile name. For those of you who are following along my channel, I have a few different profiles, but one of them is Blog Boost SEO. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that one. And you need to make sure that whenever you do create your URL, you make sure you have the HTTPS colon slash slash, and then fill in that information. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my username, my password, make sure you use application password for the name an application password for the, the password. I will put a link down in the description below on how to get that, but make sure you're using that to access this. You also use, choose an OpenAI API model, and then you put your OpenAI API key here. I'm gonna pause the video, enter my information, and then come back. Okay, once you put in that information, your screen's gonna look something like this. There's some advanced options down here. We're gonna talk about those later. Right now, this is quick start. Gonna go ahead and get you started. But for those who are interested, and there's some really cool options, stay tuned and watch that. But for now, you click Save Settings, done. It'll take you back to this screen. What you're gonna do now is you can go ahead and click the Get New WordPress Posts or Get All WordPress Posts if you do have that option enabled. And it's gonna pull in all those WordPress posts into this. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna pause now whenever that's done loading, we're gonna come back. Okay, so that probably took you a few minutes for load everything, that's just how long it takes for WordPress to go in and get that information. So if you do experience that, don't worry about that. But from there, you can see all of your post information is gonna be in here. You can scroll down to the very bottom and begin generating the interlinking keywords. So now this is where it's gonna to start to use that OpenAI API key. It's gonna go through each post, generate interlinking keyword for each post based on whatever content you chose. Right now we're using default because we haven't made any advanced settings, but if you are interested in advanced settings, we're gonna come back to that later. 
I'm gonna show you how to put in a custom prompt, but for now, we're just doing the quick start. What you're gonna see next is as it starts generating those interlinking keywords, it's gonna show you how much it's cost estimated for each based on the number that are currently in there. So that's kind of just a cool little feature. We're gonna come back whenever that's all done, all those keywords are generated, and we'll talk about the next step. Okay, once you get done with all that, it's gonna look something like this, where you're gonna have a singular keyword if you chose one, the default feature for this, for each post, in which any times it sees that keyword, it's going to add this link. You can manually edit these, save the table, you can remove them, clear it all, whatever you wanna do in order to manually edit that. But once you review them, you like them, you can interlink the post on the website. That's the quick start method. Now, I wanna show you some really cool advanced features. If you wanna stop right now, come back to this, you can. But for those interested in the advanced features, these are those. So what we wanna do is we wanna go back to settings up here. And so as I mentioned earlier, we have a singular profile here. If you wanna duplicate the profile, you can. It's great, right here. And then you save settings. Now, what does that do? Now we have two, so this is the new profile. This is the original profile. So if you wanna have different interlinking keywords between the two, you can, or if you wanna mix and match the settings, you can as well. Now, what does that mean? Okay, so I'm gonna go back. So within these, you can edit your uh, profile from right here, but I'm gonna show you what these advanced options are. So for the number of interlinking keywords to generate, on that last few, we had it set to one, so it only pull one in at a time. That's one of those features that is nice to have more if you're worried about them cannibalizing each other. So sometimes some might not get used because another one down the way kind of overrode the last one or vice versa, things like that. So if you want to do more, you can. I like one, it helps me get an idea and then I'll manually edit them as I go. For this one, for the add the button to get all WordPress posts, normally it is it not in there, you guys did see it in there. This is the setting in order to keep it in there, um, but it's just going to allow you to pull all the WordPress posts. So if you do remove some of the posts in the previous view and you save it, it's not gonna come back up. You're just gonna look for new ones. This is if you wanna reset it so that all of them show up. This one I would say is not needed most of the time. That's why I added it as a feature. And so you guys probably won't see that button by default. I'll probably uncheck that for that. But the next section is if you only want to interlink car articles within the same category. The nice thing about this feature is if you do have two different profiles going at the same time, you can interlink within the same category and then you can interlink throughout the rest of the blog first. That's one of the things that I think is really cool. That way you can make sure at least articles within a category are interlinking first. So you might select that for one of them, and then the other one you might not select. So as I am building on this, what I also want to mention is you can't have two windows open at the same time. So if you do want to interlink or edit one of them while the other one's still going, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that off the window just to prevent you guys from getting confused, but hitting that plus button will allow you to open more than one window at a time. Going back down here, if you only want to add links to articles with the same tag, so this is if you're not necessarily looking to interlink within the same category, but you do want to interlink specific posts, you go into those posts and add the tag interlinking into each of them, or interlink, make sure you have that, and it'll only interlink between those posts. Or you can do the opposite, in which you want to avoid interlink in certain posts, you add the tag skip linking. And so if you add that tag, it won't even look at those, won't add those tags to it. On this one, by default, there will only be one link added per sentence in order to avoid a ton of links going. If you want to do as many as you can, you can click this in which it will add more than one link per sentence as it sees it. Now, if you want to remove current links in the article, this is if you, if you already did a bunch of links and you really like them, don't check this box. But if you're like, hey, you know what, I just wanna get rid of all of them, you can go ahead and click this and then start over with a new batch. Now here's where things start to get pretty cool. So if you wanna schedule the next time to add interlinking, so this is really how you automate it. You would click this one, and then so every, let's say one day or one hour or whatever, whenever it gets done interlinking the post, it's gonna start a timer. 
to start over from the beginning. And so once it gets done with that, it's gonna run through all of the posts, generate the interlinking keywords, interlink all the posts again, restart the timer. So that's pretty cool. If you only wanna add links to newer posts, so within the last, let's say one day, or last 30 days. So within the last 30 days, so let's say only within the last month, because you wanna keep your old ones still the way that you had them, then that's what this one's for. And that's, pretty, that's one of the pretty cool features. I thought I might find use for that, so I went ahead and added that. Now finally, what I wanna show you is the use of the custom prompt generation for interlinking tools. This is where you can start to really customize the prompt so you can get some of your own unique keywords. So for this, I went ahead and added what I use as the prompt. You guys can see this is what I use as the prompt. You can totally mix it up however you see fit. Um, this is just placeholder text, so you're gonna have to screenshot it and edit it as you see fit, but you can add your own in here. But let's say you wanna um, say generate interlinking keywords for the article titled and you have placeholder text. So you do the open bracket, title, close curly bracket. And so it'll loop through each post, replace title with the actual title of the post. And let's say um, slug, the curly bracket type slug, all capital, open curly brackets, close curly brackets. So it will loop through each of those posts and then give you a keyword. So I'm gonna say generate one interlinking keyword for the article this, and you can test it right here. That's one of the cool things too. So we're gonna go ahead and test it. What it's gonna do is it's gonna find a random post and apply this to it. So once it finds that post, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna pause it for now. Okay, so once it's done, you're gonna get something like this. You can see that it's gonna pull in the title and a slug here, which I think is pretty cool. And I also have it so that it's gonna add this little reminder at the end. That's important that each keyword is comma separated so that it knows how to loop through each keyword. So you can see that this was the total, or this was the output from what you requested, which I think is pretty cool. Now, you're also gonna see the tokens that's used for the input use whatever AI model you did, calculate the cost there. You can calculate the cost here as well for the output tokens. You can do all that. Now, I wanna show you one more feature, which I think is pretty cool. It's the advanced custom prompts. So what it would be is you can use, let's say you, want, you like this example and you wanna use it. So let's say you do this. You can add in an advanced custom prompt. So what it is is it's you are giving it an example of a word you like. So let's say you liked this example and you liked the output it gave, which was social media marketing. Cool. So that's the one you did. Now let's say, okay, cool, that was what I like. Now I wanna do it again. So you do it here. Or if you wanted to modify it and give it a new example. So what this is called, this is called few put. So it allows you to give an example and then try again. This is really important, especially if you're getting some extra words in the front or the list isn't comma separated, things like that. You wanna give it an example of what to do and then have it prompted again. And so that is called an advanced custom prompt and this is how you use it there. So you click save settings there, done. You go back to here, you get your WordPress post, generally interlinking keywords and then run through them all again. Now. That's how, this is, that's how this app works with the advanced features. A couple more things I wanna show you, which is pretty sweet, is if you do wanna import post data, what you can do is you can take the data from another one, you can export the data, take that information, then you can go to another one and import that post data. Boom, that's what it looks like. So. Now you can see that those are copies from each other. If you wanna then use the interlinking combination, things like that. Or if you wanna export these settings, you can export all the account settings, all the posts, export them and import them on another computer. Or if you wanna put in your information here and maybe you have a virtual assistant that you wanna share this app with, you would 
fill out the information, export it all, have them import it, and then their copy would look exactly like yours. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. You can duplicate it, delete profiles, create a new one if you want. That just creates everything as blank. Now, finally, what I do want to mention is if you no longer want to use it on this computer, each license key is for one computer. So what you do is you can deauthorize the computer in which you would fill out your email that you use to purchase the license and the license key in order to deauthorize this one so you can put it on another computer. Now, if you want to get a refund, there will be a blue button here that says issue refund. Click that. You'll have a similar box here. And also you can put in your email address and your license key down here in order to get a refund. Now that'll all happen in the app. What's important is that you do not close the app while issuing a refund. Otherwise everything's lost and I can't check it. So if you do that with heat with deauthorize or issue refund, make sure you keep your internet access. Don't close the app at any time. Now, whenever you do this, make sure all the data is going to be lost on this device when you either deauthorize this or issue a refund. So make sure you know that. Now, if you have any questions about how to use this, you can comment down below this video or you can uh, reach out to me via email help at adventuresusingai.com. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel so you can get more apps, more tips, things like that. I'm going to try to integrate some more how to use this tool videos so that you can see more useful ways.